So we're going to look at doing algebraic division. But to do algebraic division, we need to learn how to do long division. Long division is, is what you already know how to do, but it's got a slightly different way of writing one or two of the bits here. And you're going to see how that works. And you must trust me that I want you to think about what we're doing with numbers because we're about to do it with algebra. And so we're going to try and translate the ideas of doing it with numbers and doing it with algebra. So I just wanted to point out a few different words that we have here. First of all, the dividend is the thing that we are dividing. The divisor is the thing that we are dividing by. The quotient is the answer. And then the remainder is the bit that's left over. OK? So we're going to be doing things with remainders. Yeah, the long division is, is going to be like bus stop method, but with like writing things out in a bit more detail. So we're going to do 423 divided by 11. We're going to do short division, which is bus stop, and then we're going to do long division with the bus stop, and we're going to see what the similarities are between them. So you know, first of all, that you put the dividend inside the bus stop. I can't believe I'm saying bus stop to year 12s. But you're going to put the dividend inside, and then you're going to put the divisor on the outside. And you say to yourself, how many 11s go into, well, it doesn't go into four. How many 11s go into 42? Three. And the answer is three. And how many are left over? Nine, Nine are left over. And then 11 goes into 93 eight, eight times. How many left over? Four. So now you have to go into, it's going to be a remainder of five. You now have to go into the decimals, OK? 11 goes into 50 four, four. four times. How many left over? Six. six. 11 goes into 60. Five. How many times left over? And you're going to keep going. Okay, so it's going to be 38.454. The next one is then going to be six left over. And there's going to be five. So it's going to keep going and going. So the answer is actually 38.45. And I put the double dots to show that the four five pattern is the thing that's going to keep repeating. Now I hope you've left some space on your page because we're now going to do long division. This is what is called short division. And the reason it's called short division is because of all of these bits that you have here, okay? These bits where you put the remainders up in that bit is what makes it short division. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing long division for 423 divided by 11 because we know the 11 times table very well. But you will need long division for when we do it with algebra. So what I want you to do is concentrate really hard on how short division is the same thing as long division and just what some of the steps are that we're going to do. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put my divisor on the outside, and then I'm going to put my 423, my dividend, on the inside. And I'm going to have a couple of those zeros there as well. OK? So we are going to do the same thing as before. We're going to do the 42 divided by 11. And 42 divided by 11, we said, is 3. So first of all, I did a division. So my first step was I did a divide. What you then did next is you found out what the remainder was. The way you found out that remainder is you said to yourself, well, 3 lots of 11 is 33. And then you found out the difference between 42 and 33. So you divided to get the 3. We then did 11 times 3. So we did a multiply step. And then we're going to subtract the 42 and the 33 to find out that that remainder was 9. So this is like a longer way of just doing what we did in our head. But you need to see why we're doing this. So we did a divide. We did a multiply to get the 33. And now we're going to subtract. And when we subtract 42, uh, sorry, 33 from 42, we get the answer 9. Can you repeat that again? Yes. So all we did here, when you found out what this 9 was, you did 3 lots of 11, which is 33. And you found out how much was left over, which is 9. So we did the same thing here. We did three lots of 11. We just wrote it down underneath it so that I could do column subtraction to find out how much was left over. So that this remainder that I have, which is 9, is that remainder that I had there. The reason I've had to do this extra step is because with algebra, you're going to find it difficult to find the remainder. You're going to need to write out the remainders by doing this subtraction kind of method that we have. OK? We're going to do this with some more numbers as well, so you'll see how it works too. Now, after I've done the 9, I'm no longer going to be saying how many 11s go into 9. What did we do on the previous one? We said how many 11s went into 93. 
So the step that I'm going to do in this bit is I'm going to take the three and I'm going to bring it down here. Do you, do you sometimes do it with an arrow pulling it down like this? OK, cool. So the next bit is going to be bring down. So these are the four steps. You divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Just going to say that one more time of how we did that. We looked at the 42. We divided it by 11, which was 3, to get the whole numbers. We multiplied 11 by 3 to say, actually, well, how much was it? We subtracted it to find the remainder. And then we brought down the next number to get 93. So this looks very confusing, but it's the same thing as what we just did in this first section of it here. Obviously, this first method is better for numbers. You can't do this, this method here for algebra. This is why I'm just kind of expanding the method out so we see a bit more about what's going on, because you're going to need it for algebra. And so we're now going to say the same steps again. We are going to do a divide, then a multiply, then a subtract, then a bring down. But I'm now going to be looking at the number 93. So I'm going to do 93 divided by 11, which is 8. And I'm going to do the next bit. So I've done the divide. I'm now going to multiply the 8 by the 11, which is 88. And I know that the remainder is 5. But with algebra, it's going to be harder to see what the remainder is. And 93 take away 88 is 5. So I've done the divide, the multiply. I've just done the subtract. The next thing I'm going to do is bring down the 0, OK? And then I say to myself, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. I'm going to do the 50 divided by 11, which is 4. I'm going to multiply the 11 by 4 to get 44. And now I'm going to find the remainder by subtracting them, which is 6. And I'm going to take that 0, and I'm going to bring it down. Yes? Can you explain again how I got it as 8? Because what we, what we did here, right? When we did this bit of, uh, when we said how many 11s go into 93, 11 goes into 93 eight times, and the remainder was 5. So ele the reason we know that there's a remainder of 5 is because 11 times 8 is 88. So we multiplied the 11 by the, the thing that it was divided to. Okay. So the most important thing here is to try and notice what's happening with the short division and what's happening with the long division. The long division is a way of trying to find remainders without having to think about it in your head. It's longer, hence it being called long division, um, but it's going to work better for algebra in a second. Now, we're not going to keep going with this, but what we would do, we probably will actually keep going, we would say how many 11s go into 60, which is 5. And we know that the remainder is 5, but I'm going to say, well, 11 times 5 is 55, which gives me a remainder of 5. And then that process, you would then bring down the 0, and you would keep going, and it would repeat it's itself. Process. It's a long process, and it's going to be the same with algebra, but it's just useful to see it with numbers. So we're going to do one with numbers, and then you're going to try one with numbers as well. And we might get the chance to do one with algebra just before the end of the lesson, um, but we might not, and we can just start it afresh when I see you next time. Yes? It's just going to keep report repeating in the same way. Like here, do you see how the remainders went 5, 6, 5, 6? And it's going to get that same repetition. It's just exactly the same process of it being recurring. So it's just going to keep going. So let's have a look now at doing 1,735 divided by 15. I'm going to go see if we can do this one straight into the long division. So I'm going to say, how many 15s go into 1,735? So the first step is divide. And I'm going to say 17 divided by 15. You get one whole 15 that goes into that. So I'm going to just write the 1 there. Now, I mean, it is so obvious what the remainder is. The remainder is obviously 2. But the way we do this is we say, well, 15 times 1 is 15. And the difference between those is 2. Like I said, I'm not trying to teach you how to divide. You know how to divide. I'm trying to teach you this method so when I do it with letters, it will make sense. And then I've done this. So let's just quickly repeat. We did the divide, the multiply, the subtract. The last thing is to bring down. So I'm going to take that 3, and I'm going to bring it down here so it's 23. How many 15s go into 23? I'm doing the divide stage. 23 divided by 15 is 1. And 1 times 15, the multiply is 15. Eight. Subtract them, and you get the 8. Then you bring down the 5 
to get 85. 15 goes into 85. Five times? Yep, five times. And this is where we do the multiply bit to say, well, what's the difference between them? Five times 15 is 75. So I'm going to write the 75 under me. And I get a remainder of 10. I've got decimal points here. So I'm going to take that zero, and I'm going to bring it all the way down to here. And I've now got 100 being divided by 15. How many times does 15 go into 100? Six, six times. So I have six here. What's the next stage that I have to do? So you do 15 times six. I do 15 times six, which is 90. 90. So you write it in the right place. You do 100 minus 90, which is 10. Which is 10. And, you put a zero up there and, you bring it down and that one. zero is going to get all the way up, brought down here. And then look, we're going to have that same pattern. Because 15 goes into 100 six times. 15 times six is 90. And again, when you subtract them, you get a remainder of 10. So it is just going to keep going and going and going. So the answer will be. 115.6 recurring. So it's the bit that people find weird is that you look at it at the end and you go like, oh my god, what did I just do? There's so many numbers there. But it's about seeing the same process of you divide. You multiply those two to get this. You subtract, and then you bring down. You took this number, you divided it by 15 to get 1. You multiplied it by 1, you subtracted, and you brought just it down. Steps, it's following those steps. And the more practice you'll do with algebraic division, it will just, it'll just make sense to you. Okay? But I didn't want to just teach you algebraic division without telling you where it's actually come from. So I'd like for you to have a go at doing the 25,168 divided by 9. I'm going to do it slowly on the board so that you can check. And then I think we probably won't start the algebraic one until next lesson. OK? So I'm going to have a go at this one. Have I done something wrong? Probably. I'm not good at this. Oh, for God's sake, why have I done that? I knew something didn't feel good. You know how I say I love every topic? I don't love this topic. How many times are going to 71? Seven times. Then you bring it down again. Oh. It only goes into it um, four times. So it's 36, and then it carries on to that. Okay. So I even made a mistake. Well, I say I even. I. Notoriously, if you spoke to my year 13s last year, they will know that I do not like algebraic division. I used to do it in a different method. There are other methods of doing this. No, we're doing this method because people, if we get good at this, it's a really, it's a really clear way of doing it. Okay. This is sort of what this is. Is it actually like necessary to do that? Because this is such a long 
This isn't necessary to do with numbers, of course not. No, because you can do them in your head. For algebra, this is necessary. Okay, I'm going to stop the recording there. But what I'm going to do...